Welcome to this very short video where we look at the new recurring invoice feature in Accounts Payable. My name is Henrik Marks Larsen and I've been working with Dynamics 365, Finance and Operations and its predecessors since 1997. For many years I've worked internationally as an IT professional implementing line of business applications, but today I work as a technology specialist at Microsoft. In this video, we go through three steps to set up and generate recurring invoices. In the first step, we need to go through the setup of the template for the recurring invoice. Once we have the template set up, we must associate it with the vendor. With the template associated with the vendor, we can start generating invoices. Let's see how it all works in the real world. In this example, the vendor Contoso Marketers produces a monthly marketing newsletter for Contoso Coffee. A price of $1,000 per month for a 12-month period has been agreed. The cost is to be split 60-40 between the auto and home business units in Contoso. The first thing we go through is setting up the recurring invoice template. When setting up the template, we can set up various information such as payment details, accounting distributions and taxes. In my example, I'm using a specific posting profile to override the posting profile set up in the company parameters. In addition, I've set up an accounting distribution to split the cost between the home and auto business units as mentioned earlier. Lastly, I created an invoice line to detail the cost category and monthly cost. Please note that it is possible to use either item number or procurement category on the invoice line. Once we have the invoice template set up, we need to associate it with the Contoso Marketers vendor. We do this from the Recurring Invoices menu point on the All Vendors screen. On this screen, we need to fill in some details. Firstly, we must determine the start and end dates for the recurring invoice. Next, we need to set up how often the invoice should be generated. In this case, it's a monthly invoice. Now we are ready to generate invoices. As you can see, I filled in the invoice and generation dates to determine from when the invoice is generated and when it's posted. I've also selected the template I used for the generation. Please note that it is possible to select multiple templates for the generation job. The recurring invoice for the month of November has now been generated and sits in the unposted recurring invoices file. Before we can post the invoice, it must be approved in accordance with Contoso company policy. Like any other invoice we generate in Dynamics 365 Finance, it is also automatically placed in the pending invoices file. Therefore, we can submit it for approval through the workflow like any other invoice. However, before we submit the invoice for approval, we can attach the invoice document we have received from Contoso Marketers. Once the invoice has been approved, it can be posted. This marks the end of this short demonstration of the new Accounts Payable Recurring Invoices feature in Dynamics 365.